I want to bring you a word of encouragement. And I'm reading out of Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. And it says, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life. Now it says, I want to, I want to say that again. It says, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, comma. So if it says, do not worry about your life, comma, comma, I say that the reason why I say comma, because the comma comes after life, which means any part in your life, anything in your life. A lot of times when we read this scripture, we go straight to the next, uh, we go straight to the next sentence where it says, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, comma, what you will put on. Is, is not your life more than food and the body more than clothing? Your body is more valuable than clothing or food. So God is saying, do not worry about your life, comma. That means any part of your life, do not worry about it. And it says, look at the birds of the air, for they neither soar nor reap nor gather their into barns, yet the heavenly father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they are? You, we are more valuable than the birds because remember God puts us put us over top of all the animals and so we are more valuable than them but they do not even worry then it says which of you by worrying can add one cubit to your statue which means your life which one nobody can so then I'm going to go all the way down to uh, verse 33 in the same chapter chapter 6 and it says but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself or worry about its own things. But I want to go back to this where it says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, when people look at that verse where it says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, a lot of times people think that that means that you need to seek the kingdom of God, like just keep seeking it over and over and over. You know, you're going to have to keep praying to God and keep begging and begging and begging for God to do these things for you to supply the things that you need. God said he will supply your needs according to his riches and glory, which means he's rich in his glory. God gets the glory out of everything. So when people see you look nice, when people see you live nice, which God wants us to look nice because he gets the glory from it. As long as we don't glorify the things, but we glorify God when we get those things. Now, it says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. I'm here to tell you that if you just seek, seeking means to ask. Seeking means to definitely ask. So it says, seek first the kingdom. So that means, what does God say about it? Seeking his kingdom. Seeking the kingdom is seeking God. God is it's God's kingdom. It says, seek first the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God. So you're seeking God about these matters. But a lot of times people take this into content, into thinking that it means to continue to keep asking and asking and asking. And, and then finally they give up because they don't see anything. But God said to seek, which means to seek. Seek is to, to, to find, to, 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 to run after, to search. Because when we get our minds and, our, and we get our focus on God, and we're seeking the kingdom. Next thing you know, all kinds of things start arriving. Every door start opening. Things start happening. You get blessed, supernatural blessings. Everything starts taking place. So I say this, that if you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things shall be added unto you. God is saying that this is a proven fact. This is not just something that God put here for us just to look at it and it's not true. It's definitely true. So once we get to seeking, and I'm here to tell you, I can to give a testimony that when I begin to seek God and I begin to begin to call on God, seeking is worshiping him, seeking is honoring him, seeking is when you serve God, that's worshiping God, you know, in your secret place, that's seeking the kingdom of God. So it's not like you, you got to keep, oh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not praying enough. I'm not seeking God enough. This means that this is, you know, I'm not going to, these things are not going to happen for me. That is not true. Seeking is worshiping him. And we worship God because we love him. We worship the father 
not because we want things, but we worship him because we want to get to know him. We sit in his presence because we want to get to know the heavenly father. That's why we sit in his presence. But as you sit in those presence, guess what? As you sit in his presence, he's rewarding you for you sitting in his presence. For us coming to talk to the heavenly father and sit in the presence of God and to worship him, he rewards us for it. He, he said right here, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. God will bless you for you worshiping him, for you seeking him, for you honoring him, for you being obedient to him, for you doing the things that he called you to do. Isn't that something to be rewarded for you doing what God calls you to do, but he's also rewarding you for it. And you can't go wrong with worshiping the father. You can't go wrong with sitting in his presence. You can't go wrong with following after righteousness. Righteousness is something that God gives you. It's not something that we have to earn, but he gives it to us. Hallelujah, Jesus. So you can't go wrong with, 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 with walking with the Father, with, with seeking the Father. So seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. If you do this, I guarantee it will happen for you. God gave me this word for me to, to get on here and encourage you, to let you know that he has not forgotten about you. But seek ye first, spend time with God and his righteousness. And that doesn't mean worry about it. You know, like as in, did I spend enough time with God? Did I, you know, when you talk to God, he hears you. Even if you just sit where you are at your kitchen table and you begin to talk to God, even if you're in your car and you're talking to God, you're still seeking him. Even if you're doing dishes or putting the dishes in the, in the, in the dishwasher, you're still seeking the father and you're praying. Even if you're sitting in the bathtub and you're praying, you know what I'm saying? It's you're seeking the kingdom of God. You're seeking the father. God bless you. I pray this message helps you be blessed in the Lord. God bless you. Be blessed. Share this message. Don't forget to share this message. Also subscribe to the channel. Hit the, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button for more videos. God bless you. I'm so happy that you are part of this channel. God bless you. Be blessed.